In this video, we're going to take a look at citations in Word 2016. And uh, we are on the References tab. Uh, everything related to citations is going to be on this tab. And we are looking specifically at this box right here, the Citations and Bibliography Group. And we're going to look at these options. Uh, so if you want to insert a citation into your document, uh, it has to refer to some other source document. And um, so let's first look at manage sources here. There's a couple of ways to do this. We'll take a look at manage sources first. So it brings up the source manager window or dialog box. And uh, what you can do is uh, I've, I have no citations currently available in my master list here, but I'm going to create one. So click on new and it will bring up the create source dialog box. And you can specify there's a whole bunch of choices here for what kind of a document it is. We'll just go with book. Uh, it asks you for an author, and um, we will just uh, put. Uh, I think I spelled that right. Uh, and um, a title. Actually, this is the document that I'm doing right now, so this doesn't make much sense as a real citation, but that's okay. Uh, so you can put in as much information here as you want to. Uh, it's got the most common fields right here, and there's a checkbox here. If you turn that on, it will show you uh, some other fields, and notice that's not all of them. There's a little scroll bar over here, so you can scroll, and uh, there are quite a few options here. Uh, quite a few of these, these things here at the end uh, are related to online documents. So I think the most common ones... Uh, most common fields you want to put in are probably up here at the top, and they've even got a red star next to the ones that they recommend that you fill in. So you can go in, you can fill in whatever you want to here. So we'll just make up a year. I don't know when this was written. We'll just put in 1900, and we'll put uh, London, and uh, the publisher is uh, blah. Okay, and then we'll click on OK. And now we have a citation. You can um, add as many as you want to that way. And then we're just going to click on close. Okay. This researcher dialog box is popping up over here, and I'm going to close it. And now let's go to the end of the document here, the end of the first paragraph, rather. And uh, let's say we want to insert a citation there. So we can go up to Insert Citation, click on the down arrow. And uh, any citations that I've already entered for this document will pop up here. So the one that I just did a minute ago is going to show up here. And I can select it. I can go to uh, New Source if I want to. And it brings up this dialog box that we just looked at a minute ago. So there's basically two ways to get to the Create Source dialog box. You can do many sources, or you can just wait until you get to the point where you want to insert a citation and click on it and select Add New Source. Okay. Oh, I've already put the source in, so I'm just going to put uh, click on Alice in Wonderland here. And what comes up is this. And the format that it puts it in, uh, is going to vary depending on what you've chosen for your citation style here. And if you click on the down arrow here, uh, you see right now I have Chicago selected. Uh, APA is a very common one for term papers, and the difference is it puts a comma in. Uh, another one is um, MLA. Let's try that one. And that one, it just puts uh, the last name of the author. So um, if your instructor tells you which format to use or which style to use for your citations. Uh, all you have to do is go up here and select it. And if you've got 20 citations in your document and you go up here and you click on this, it'll change the format of all of them. It's not just the one that you're on. It's an all or none deal. So it will change uh, all the citations in your document. Uh, notice that as with in other things that Word inserts in your document for you, um, it turns gray when you move the mouse over it or when you click on it. And there is, you know, some three dots over here you can click on. And if you want to delete it, you can delete it. Um, if you want to do some other things with it, you can click on the down arrow. Uh, but when you click on it once, it turns, uh, actually when you pause the mouse over, it turns light gray. When you click on it, it turns dark gray. And it really gets dark gray if you click on the dots here. 
and if you want to delete it you can just hit the delete key which I'm going to do right now and it goes away well I want to keep that so we're going to undo that so this is my citation let's say I want to put another citation at the end of the second paragraph I just go here insert citation and as long as I've already created the source all I have to do is pick it so it's real easy to do um, and that's about all there is to it uh, once you've done your citations uh, you can put in a bibliography at the end. We're going to do a control end here to go to the end of our document and you'd probably put this on a new page so I'm going to do a control enter here uh, to go to the beginning of a new page and at the top of this page is where I'm going to insert my bibliography so we'll go to bibliography here and click on the down arrow and uh, I think the only difference between these three choices is uh, the stuff under the, the bar here is all the same. It's just whether it says works cited, references, or bibliography. So I'm going to choose works cited here, and it'll put works cited at the top. And again, when I move the mouse over, it turns gray to tell you that you didn't type this in. This is something that Word put in at your request. So it gives all of the information we typed in here and puts works cited up here at the top. And if I click on it, um, I will get the little gray box here and there's an option to update citations and bibliography. Uh, the only time you'd want to use this would be if you have already um, inserted your bibliography here at the end and uh, you go and you add another source and put in a reference to that source somewhere in your document. And if you do that, uh, Word does not automatically update your bibliography. So if I added a second source here and now, you know, and went up here and, and put in a citation for that source, then it would not automatically update this. So um, if you wait until you're all done with everything in your document, you're positive that you're not going to add any more citations, uh, you're good to insert this. Uh, if you don't do this and you at the end and you still have some more uh, citations and sources, not citations, but sources to put in, uh, if you go here and you click on update, uh, then it will go and look at all of your citations and it will put an entry here for each one. So um, as long as you are done with all of your sources and citations when you insert this, you're good. You don't have to worry about updating it if you go in and add a new source after you've already created the bibliography. So uh, that's pretty much everything you need to know about how citations and bibliographies work in Word 2016.